Well, good morning, everybody. I just thought I haven't done a live uh, hello for a while, so I just thought um, I've had a lie in bed this morning. I've first time for I don't know how long. I didn't get up till nine o'clock. Um, I feel quite relaxed actually, which is quite nice. So happy Easter, and how are you all doing? Um, yeah, how are you coping with all this lockdown, and what are you missing most? And yeah, it's a very, very surreal and a very different way of living, isn't it, at the moment? Um, I am sort of on, I am on isolation. Um, as you know, Andy has COPD, so he's on the 12 week. Fortunately, I've not had any letters or notifications, but I do have my cancer, so I am being very careful. Uh, I have to say thank you to my daughter, Sam, for uh, all the shopping that she's been doing for me and leaving it on the doorstep and stuff like that. Uh, we've trying our best to keep in contact with the classes, so I just thought I'd just touch base with you all a little bit. And I know some of you on Facebook. I'm going to save this and hopefully going to post it on the emails and on our website because um, I'm trying to learn. I suppose most of you, you're all learning uh, different forms of media and contact and everything else. Uh, the weather's been quite good, hasn't it? So I have planted some seeds and for most of you that know, I'm not really a, gr a green finger person. My parents, my mother was, my granddad was. It's in the blood apparently, but not with me. I think our Peter, my brother's got most of the green fingers. Um, but we're having a go. So we're overrun with uh, tomato pants and things like that. So who knows? I may be able to bring you some samples to class. So yes, we're going into our fourth week and here at Fancy Feet, uh, we, I would really, really like to say a huge hello to everybody that we haven't been in contact with. I do worry about everybody and I'm sure you do this yourself. Uh, we have different various ways of trying to keep in contact with you. Uh, of course, there's Facebook, which a lot of you are on and thank you very much. And Thanks ever so much for putting any little posts out and stuff like that. It really does not just help me being nosy, wondering how you are, but it does help your friends and your line dancing friends, even if you just put, put a happy smiling face or anything like that. So we do have things going on and we are sharing videos. We've got one going on at the moment that we had sort of Nathan Carter and his brother, it's so funny, and also Rod Stewart. So those are on our group page if you're not with that. We've also got a WhatsApp chat feed going and that is very, very positive. There's a, a lot of us in, obviously you do get quite a few of the same people posting, but every week we get an update from Joyce Simpson and the Golden Girls. So that's Joyce and also from Eunice and from Kath Sutton. So she lets us know how we're all getting, how they're getting on. Uh, they haven't yet joined us on all the other stuff, but that's fine. Maybe they're gardening, reading, whatever, because life has become sort of quite relaxing, hasn't it, at the moment? Don't know what day it is. We don't know what time it is. Also, we have got the email that I try and send out. I've only done a couple last week. Uh, not because I didn't have much to say, but I don't want to bombard you. If you are on our email list, do send back saying thank you very much or I'm okay. Or, you know, there's some people that we haven't managed to contact. So um, that's what's really, you know, because I think it's not the dancing that you're going to miss the most. It's the interaction with people and the interaction, the conversation, and showing that we care. And we really, really do care. I think as a line dance industry, people care. Um, but I know at Fancy Feet, we are a little bit unique in the fact it, dancing's the byproduct. It isn't the dancing. It's the interaction. It's the people. And I've always had the same thing where it's people, the line, the music, and then the line dance in that order. So that's how we try to work. And it does seem to work for us. Might not for everybody. So we've got the email. And then the new thing we've got is Zoom. You've probably heard me going on about it. I just love it. It's because we are interacting. Now, I'm not, I know some of you are thinking, oh, it's going to be so difficult. It's not safe. It's not this. It's not that. But you know what? It is. The politicians, the royal family, the schools, the colleges... Everybody's using Zoom and I wish I'd have bought the share price shares four weeks ago and you know watch and 
bought some of them. I could have been debt free. Their share prices have gone out of the roof and they are upgrading and upgrading all the time. Now we can get up to 100 people on our Zoom. So it's really great. So we've got line dancing classes happening. But you know what? The other last week, I couldn't remember a dance. I really, the only dance I could remember was one step forward. So you don't have to dance. It's the interaction with the people because you see everybody. You can plug it in. There's my clock going. You can plug in to um, your TV, you can use Zoom on your computer, your phone, your iPad, and you can speak to each other. We have a bit of a wine time, which is not whining. It's we have a drink, we say cheers to each other, and put the world to rights. It takes about 20 minutes. We have line dance bingo. Now, I know some of you say, oh, I can't stand bingo. Well, I'll tell you what, this is different. It's not serious. It's more about the cut. The uh, they think I'm cheating. It's more about, as I say, the interaction. And we have got a token board. And when you win a line, you get a token. When you win a um, a full house, you get three. So when we get back to dancing, eventually, we're going to have a prize table, and uh, a bit like the you know the fun bingos on the promenade that we have here. So that's Zoom. So if you, it would be lovely if some of you could join us. Just try it for the once. And if you don't like it, that's fine. It's like any line dance. If you don't like the line dance, that's fine. But it's nice to keep in contact. So that's about us and our contacts and our bingo, wine time, coffee afternoon, different things, challenges we do. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to all the key workers out there that's keeping our country going. Um, yes, I'm at home. Yes, I'm earning no money. But do you know what? I'm alive. We're safe. We've got beautiful weather at the moment. And the government is looking after us with our, our money. So a lot of you keep saying, can we pay you? No, because we are being looked after uh, by the government. OK, at this moment, I haven't got any money, but I've got food. I've got my family. So what more can you want? They can't throw me out of my house because the government's looked after us, uh, which I'm really pleased. So I'm going to say a few highs. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Taval. Hi, Jackie. How are you and Alan? Uh, morning to Joan. Morning to Sharon. We've got loads coming in, watching, and thank you all very, very much. I know I'm rabbiting on, but what I'm also going on about is, um, is I say, thank you to the key workers. Now, here at Fancy Feet, we have had one person that's been poorly and in hospital. Uh, we know that one couple of our dancers have had their grandchildren who are poor, who are working in the NHS, and one of them's got their granddaughter in hospital now. One's had their granddaughter in hospital. Thanks to the farmers as well. We have uh, Farmer Colin, who is still delivering his eggs and things like that. So he. Obviously, the lockdown doesn't really affect him too much in the fact that he's not coming dancing to sit with his eggs and he's not interacting with people like we are. Morning to Les and Connie. Um, so, yes, um, who else do we have? So we have got some uh, nurses and care workers who dance with us. So please stay safe. And, and, uh, and of course, all the retail staff now retail part does affect me because both my son and my daughter-in-law to be they both work in retail um and my son as you know works at aldi in st anne's but i think he's a bit like me and he doesn't in some ways very very quiet he does not sort of uh take any mess in he's been very very controlled all the way through morning janet and morning to brian yeah so that's um so thank you all very much. My daughter's still working, but she's quite protected. So that's I'm really pleased about that. But I know that some of you have got people that are working in the NHS. I know Joan has. Um, Julie. Hi, Julie. Her sister's poorly with the corona. Um, one of my idols, Kenny Dalgleish. I know he's got, got it at the moment. Um, it's just been released. So there's a lot affected. So I just want to say, have a lovely Easter. I really want you to all stay safe and please if you're watching this and not been in contact with us just send me a text send me a heart send me anything so that we know that you're doing okay now if you want to talk to anybody at any time please message me 
There's many of us on here that will uh, listen to you, talk to you. Do not think you're on your own. You are not. We are here for you, whether it's with the dancing, whether it's sharing a cup of coffee over the phone or anything like that. We are here for you. Um, and then, of course, the dancing happens. Morning, Pat. Morning, Sheila Hallam. Morning, Tony. Oh, we do miss you. Can't wait to bring a minibus down to take see you, Tony. Um, morning to Jen. Morning, Jim and, and uh, Kay. Hope you're OK. Morning, Mary and Chris. So, yes, so that's really why I thought I'll put this happy Easter video out. Keep feeling positive. Do something you've not done for a while. Perhaps write a letter to somebody that you've not spoke to. You know, we send Christmas cards. Perhaps send them a happy Easter, happy May Day, because it's May Day soon, isn't it? And, and all that. And I cannot wait to be back dancing with you. But at this moment, dancing's not important. It's you. And I hope that you're going to keep moving. I hope that you're going to be doing whatever you can to keep stay positive. But I am here. You have got my phone number. And just send me a message and I'll ring you back. Um, you know, I do have the best job in the world. And I love being with people. Same as everybody else. And it's very, very surreal, this situation. But don't give up. We have done an, a month, have we? Yeah, more or less a month. So we can do a little bit more. So has anybody got anything they want to say? Morning, Jill. Nice to see you. And uh, as I say, do join us on Zoom. I'm going to put a flyer out now. We're having an Easter get-together tonight on Zoom. So it's just an app that you download to your phone, your iPad or anything like that. Get yourself a cup of coffee or maybe a wine. I know our Jill was on the wine last night. Hi, Yvonne. Hope you're OK. Uh, hope you can join us with some dancing. I'm going to try and work out whether I can go live on Facebook when we're doing the Zoom as well. So I know some of you may be thinking, oh, they can see me and I'll be doing all the dances wrong. Do you know what? Half of, me, half of the people that's joining us, they sit and they have a drink and they just chat along and sing. And I never realised how good Marjorie Garnett was at singing. Not. Anyway, it really is lovely to see you. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you join us tonight with our Easter get together about seven o'clock on Zoom. We're together for about half an hour, 45 minutes. Morning, Pat Gadsby, how are you? Did you see Cliff Richard yesterday? He was with Gary Barlow and singing i'm sure you did morning nina hope you're doing okay now as i say i'm going on about zoom that's because it's interactive and i am nosy and we're finding out so much about everybody's personalities at the moment so we've got a lot to be thankful for haven't we um gene and keith do so much craft craft i nearly said the wrong word um and keith is a radio ham uh Janet uh, Trudy, I didn't realise, was uh, a gardener in Liverpool and she has green fingers and she's in her greenhouse most days and things like that. So it's just lovely to find out a little bit more about how people are. Have I spoke too much? No, I'm not going to do any online teaching on Facebook. I've put so much weight on. Uh, I have had a little bit of trouble with my back. We realised I'm two inches shorter than what I was six months ago. But do you know what? I'm here with the nicest of people that you could ever meet. And I want to say thank you. Please share this uh, video if you can. I'm going to try and put it on the website if it saves OK. And I am also going to, um, you know, well, I've got to replant my tomatoes. My lettuces, they don't look like lettuces, so I'm a bit bothered about them. And, uh, yeah, so maybe I'll do something tomorrow and show you of all my plants. And I updated all the websites, so any instructions you want. Oh, yes, we are going to have a lockdown sale of all the shoes. Uh, we're going to be selling shoes off at £20, that should, but we've only got the limited sizes until we can all get set back up again. And uh, I think the factories are just reopening, which is really great. So do look, look out. I'm going to try and post them on the website. Facebook, anything else, 
and oh yeah move radio we're on move radio aren't we that i'm on there monday i forgot i had got a list here of what to say and i've not been listening so yep yeah, move radio i'm on the radio monday wednesday and friday morning 10 till 12 is uh, a radio show in conjunction with everything line dance website under the uh with the consultation of Billy Curtis, who set up an amazing group supporting line dancers and line dance teachers. And hopefully we're going to be covering a little bit more this week. Last week it was all about mind and, you know, the, your mental health and, and stuff like that, which is, to me, the biggest problem. Wednesday morning is everything Fancy Feet. It's midweek with Fancy Feet. And then Friday morning we're having a bit of show, a, a bit of fun. It's songs from the shows. Maybe we can get uh, Natalie will uh, do a song from the shows in one of her, um, you know, that she does. Facebook, you've got all the live feeds. You've got Chris Owen on Sunday. He's doing a live feed. Uh, also, Natalie's does one on a Friday night. Kezia Gill does a Friday night. Um, all the big stars are doing the feeds. There was Rod Stewart yesterday. I posted that one. That looked really good all around his house. So there's loads and loads of things going on. A lot of them are free. Some of them are donations. That's up to yourself. So that's what's happening on Facebook. Andrew Lloyd Webber on YouTube. If you're not on any of the media things, he's doing a show. He's put He put Joseph out. I think it's Jesus Christ Superstar this week, if you want to watch that. So there's lots of things going on. Anybody struggling for shopping? Yeah. Um, here we've got Shop It Local. On Facebook, I'm going to find out there's a phone, if there's a phone number. They're absolutely brilliant. You put your order in over the phone or by messenger, I think, or email, and then it's delivered the day after. They ring you up for payment, and you're supporting the local businesses. Uh, there's veg shops, there's butchers, there's bakers, all delivering. And one thing I'm hoping out of all this is that the high street comes back. I no longer ever, ever have to go in Tesco's or Asda. But using these, we found, and I've also found a little dairy that's going to be delivering milk. So I've contacted them and they're going to be delivering my milk and my bread. So how lucky are we really? So I'm going to go now because my daughter's just come on and she'll be saying, Mother, what are you doing now? But anyway, thank you very much for listening. I know I've rabbited it on quite a lot. And Julie's on. We've just said thanks to Colin for all his work he's doing and looking after it, all his farm and the key workers. The people are forgetting them. So thanks all very much. He, oh, I told you I didn't have a butler. I've got one. Here's my husband. This is Andy. I'm not sure if any of you have seen. He's brought me a cup of coffee. So, oh, he hasn't. How can you be like, I can't believe that. Thank you all very much for listening and lots of love. Have a happy Easter. And I'll see you all very, very soon.